Heroism doesn't always happen in a burst of glory. Sometimes small triumphs and large hearts change the course of history. The petition reads, My name is David Robinson and I am the father of geologist Daniel Robinson who has been missing in Buckeye, Arizona since June 23, 2021. From the first day that I arrived in Phoenix, Arizona, I have done more to find my son than the law enforcement agency whose jurisdictional authority covers where he was last seen and where his vehicle was recovered. The Buckeye PD investigation has not gathered any evidence of their own. They are unwilling to move beyond their theory, which leads to non-action on their part. This petition is another step in holding the Buckeye Police Department accountable to make sure this case is taken seriously. We have done a total of seven searches at the time of this petition that have recovered the remains of about six people, hopefully bringing closure to other families. My public searches are coming to their completion and the Buckeye Police Department has a responsibility to continue. This petition will ensure that this happens. My family has a high interest in the outcome of this investigation, seeing that everything that needs to be done is done to bring my son, her son, their brother, their nephew, their grandchild, and their cousin home. Since most of my family cannot be here to talk directly to the Buckeye Police Department, this petition gives them the ability to have their voices heard. Daniel's family will feel empowered knowing that they have the community support and an agreed upon desire to see that everything is being done to find Daniel. So far in 2021, Arizona has 915 people missing. Arizona ranks number four in the country with the most people missing each year. Organizations like Name Us, who rely on public input, have about 1,300 unidentified persons. This is without knowing the total number by the FBI's National Crime Information Center. Missing persons is a growing problem for Arizonians. The other problem is knowing that many families never get closure and feel that they didn't get an urgent response from the law enforcement office with jurisdiction of their cases. It appears that the Buckeye Police Department lacks the training to effectively conduct searches for missing persons. Hopefully, this petition can start the process of having funds reallocated to programs that focus solely on missing persons, missing and exploited children, and identifying remains found in the desert. Arizona is among unique places with natural conditions that wreak havoc on the remains of a human's body. If a missing person finds themselves in a desert situation, their rescue must be swift. Unfortunately, the police officers are not equipped, nor are they appropriately trained in rescuing and recovering a missing person. This petition is needed so that the community can move towards a solid resolution to the growing problem found in the state of Arizona. We would like to have Daniel's investigation changed from a missing person to a criminal investigation. This change in investigation status will allow the Buckeye Police Department to use the evidence obtained to seek warrants. Daniel went missing from his job site on June 23, 2021, and his Jeep Renegade was found about two miles from his said job site on July 20, 2021. Since my son was reported missing, the Buckeye Police Department has done very little. Before the vehicle was found, they did two confirmed searches that included the area where my son was last seen and where my son's vehicle would have been discovered in the future. Those two searches resulted in no findings of any kind. Since then, the public searches that I created have recovered about six human remains in the same areas that the Buckeye Police Department said they thoroughly searched for my son. With the coordination of my private investigator, my searches later recovered evidence that backs up the data taken from the vehicle's black box. The problem is, the Buckeye detectives told me 
that the data showed that my son was driving in excess of 30 miles an hour at the point of impact and all the airbags deployed because of the rollover. However, when my investigator read the exact information provided by the Buckeye PD, he found that the vehicle was traveling under 30 miles per hour. In addition, he found that the car was also cranked in excess of 40 times after the initial impact that caused the deployment of the airbags. The vehicle was driven over seven miles after the initial crash and airbag deployment. The damage on the Jeep was not consistent with where the vehicle was found, nor did it match the terrain of the desert where it was found. Unfortunately, the Buckeye detectives did not know how to read their own pooled data, or they were intentionally trying to mislead me. The shortcomings of the Buckeye Police Department have been plentiful. Unfortunately, I have found that they have lied or approached the investigation in a nonchalant manner on several occasions. The evidence is clear that this should be changed to a criminal investigation because my private investigator found that my son's vehicle was staged and that a possible crime had occurred. To date, there have been no warrants sought for my son. The Buckeye Police Department refuses to change its theory and wants to continue in a missing person direction. Based on the evidence, this is unacceptable and the Buckeye Police Department must be held accountable. Heroism doesn't always happen in a burst of glory. Sometimes, small triumphs and large hearts change the course of history. Justice for Daniel Robinson. Please sign and share this petition. Thank you.